What's up, you're watching another episode of Tuko Hot, the only show online that serves you hot trending news in the most unique way. My name is Samuel Mesa. Now, there is a lot of money in this country. You should see the monster cars that Kiambu Governor William Kapogo was rolling with, or rather is rolling with. On the other hand, his party boss, President Uru Kenyatta, visited Wajia, and mm -mm, those people don't feel him. They don't feel him at all. How about this? How do you feel when your favorite news anchor quits? Optimism. Optimism. For that and much more, let's start here. Kiambu governor, William Kafogo, the other day stole the show from President Uri Kenyatta. Uh, Kafogo arrived for Uhuru's tour in style. Uhuru's tour of Kiambu, that is. He arrived in style. You could think that he was the one or the actual editor-in-chief. The governor flaunted a number of armored vehicles which belonged to him. In fact, residents could hardly pay attention to Uhuru. Optimism. And instead, gazed at the expensive machines with all their teeth out. <gasps> it is said that Kafogo and uh, his rival, Ferdinand Waititu, um, the two can do anything to impress the president. In, uh, let me tell you this. The Kiambu gubernatorial race is hotter, or rather, is the tightest. Nairobi cannot match that. Moving on, the flaunting of cars was before President uh, Uhuru Kenyatta visited Wajia, where he made strong resistance of the people of that county. Uhuru and his Jubilee Brigade did not see this coming. They were heckled by a crowd, a huge crowd of people, which chanted ODM and Mombasa Governor Hassan Joho's name. It appears like uh, the, the fight between President Uru Kenyatta and, and Joho is actually popularizing the governor across the country. Otherwise, why would they chant the Sultan's name? Here is how it went down. <laughs> Away from the political dramas, let's go to the newsroom. Can you believe you won't be seeing Janet Mbogwa anymore on your screens? Janet quit Citizen TV for another job. Forget the stories that highly paid Jeff Koinange brought turbulence in that newsroom. Forget that. Those could just be claims, but this one might not just be a claim. It is said that she is headed for Red Cross. As a director of communications and advocacy, I'm wondering, did Janet get tired of being a celebrity? In her blog, however, she admits being scared, but is ready for the next step. Whatever it is, we wish you well, Janet. We wish you well. I'm certain it's not just me who is going to miss your, uh, how do I say that voice? Who's going to miss your authoritative voice, not just me. That's true. This is actually my last Monday special on Citizen TV. Um, I'll be taking a sabbatical, so it's more of see you at some point, maybe, then goodbye. Mm -hmm. um, it's been an absolute pleasure and honor hosting this show. Still in the newsroom. Oh my, oh my. Guess what? Comedian Jalango is the newest radio presenter at the Royal Media Services. And who can work better with him than the boss himself of JKL, Jeff Koinange? What has it that the two are going to have a show on Hot 96 together? Oh my, this is going to be smoking hot! And someone should call the firemen because the house is burning down! My oh my, it's gonna be smoking I cannot wait for this. <laughs> this show is going to be hot. I, I, I believe it's going to be hot. No one can doubt that. You've been watching Tuko Hot, a product of tuko.co.ke, the heartbeat of Kenya. My name is Samuel Meso, and until next time, see ya. <laughs>